Hi, and welcome to my first YouTube video. This is for my double cylinder, little steam model. This is part one, the assembly process. This is all the tools and obviously the parts for the engine that we need. Hi, so this is the assembly part of my double cylinder steam engine that I've made. So the first part we're gonna do, we're gonna find the three Allen keys that we need, which is a two and a half, a two and a 1.5, and we'll put them to the side. <coughs> we don't need the hammer at the moment, so we're gonna put that over there. First one, first of all, we're gonna take the base and we're gonna put it together with the actual main body. So we need to find the M6, two M6 countersink screws, which are here, obviously that will go in here, but obviously underneath on here. So that obviously that goes together like this. And the other one goes in the bottom. Then we'll get the Allen key. Tighten that up onto there. So there we have the base and the body assembled. Next thing I'm gonna do is gonna get the bush. The, gonna get the bush to go into the hole here for the main drive. So we're gonna slide that in there. It's normally a push fit, as you can see, nice push fit on there. So that is the right way round. We're just gonna give it a little tap with a hammer. So then you can see that it's completely flush inside. So now the next thing what we want to do is we're going to take the two pistons and assemble it to the comrod. They go like this. They obviously just push fit in as well. So then you have that. Then we're going to assemble this to then the connector rod which are here with the two M3 bolts, like so. It's a bit fiddly this is, but. So we're gonna put the holes. Once we get this in here, Once we get once we get one one in, it's normally pretty simple and straightforward for the next ones to go. It's just because this uh, the thread's trying to find the the bolt is trying to find the thread on a radius, so it's a bit awkward. So we'll just give them another little give them another little nip up, just to make sure they're a little tight. So then obviously this will assemble into here. And then obviously the other cylinder head, the other cylinder will go in here as well, like so. So then that will go onto there. But first of all, what we'll do, we'll put the crank and the comrod through. And then this will then assemble onto here, like so. Then we turn it around. Then we find we get the M3, our M3 bolts, take our two and a half mil Allen key, and then we'll just nip this into the bud, like that. We'll just, we're not tightening them up fully at the moment, we're just slowly nip, just finding the holes and nipping them all up together. So then we put the last bolt in, which it, it should then be, we can then nip them, nip them up.
Right, we're at this stage where we have half of it assembled. So obviously the base, the body, the cylinders, the pistons are all in and it should be running fairly freely. Obviously there's a bit of fettling to do and that once it's all sort of together, but obviously that's the double cylinder engine. Next thing we've got to do is put everything now onto the back, which obviously connects it to make it run. So the first thing we're looking for is this little rod. As you can see, it's a three mil diameter with a six mil diameter on the bigger one. Just come and bring closer to the. So now obviously this is a it's a fair fair snug fit into the holes here, and then obviously that slide through there like that. And then we get this part, which then goes onto the back end of that. Obviously up that way round. So obviously that will hook onto that. And hook onto that like so as you can tell and then obviously it's using a cam system to obviously activate it and to move it backwards and forwards so on the back end of the flywheel as you can tell it's got a cam system on it and then obviously nice precision machine little flywheel so then obviously once we've got all this part together then we can slide that onto the shaft and then as you can see we've got to wait for the cam to lock in there and then we'll get the smaller allen key so obviously i've got a hole all the way through here which leads into the actual flywheel itself to grub screw onto the shaft so if we put that into there just nip it up and then last of all we've got to put the inlet valve inlet port to obviously run it on first of all we'll run it up on the compressed air and then hopefully get it all together with a little steam set so this is literally got a tiny thread on it and then i put an o-ring around the thread and then we just literally screw it into the top, like so. And now we have a fully assembled double cylinder steam model. I am yet to paint it. Uh, I'm gonna paint the flywheel inside red, um, but there it is. There is the little steam cylinder double cylinder engine all assembled and then obviously it's a little bit tight as i said it's got to have a bit of fitting and fettling done to it but that's all the process of the little model steam engines but i hope you all enjoyed the video um if you haven't yet subscribe to the youtube channel we're also on facebook instagram tiktok and twitter all at double j engineering make sure you go and drop the other socials a follow i appreciate it look forward to the next one see you all later